Morning news, my lovely, wonderful people. Not be too much in the apple, so now your brother, Yahaya Bello. I, I like the name, the Yahaya. You be like, you know, where you want to go, where you want to emphasize something. Yahaya Bello 2023. There's no say that they on the man case now. Yahaya Bello, greatest threat to free, fair election. I said that they talk. Oh. They say the guy, eh, no, you see, eh, the guy get away, they do it. See, they say I be the greatest threat. No, so I be the governor of Kogi state. As me, I they talk so. A wife they wanted, eh, they say he opened the state treasury to a wife. They say they don't move things. So the wife now, nah, nobody does here. He don't move. We don't know where he did. Whether I pass water wrong, we don't know. You know? So they I didn't do say where well, say yeah, yeah, bello. Was well, so they see for this so not be a better person. Now nah, so he talk, not be me talk am on. Say the guy and I be the greatest threat to free fair election to democracy as we they speak. So they, they even though say he get immunity for this country. You know, say um governor governors they don't do want it to they say they call her immunity. You know, if you touch them, why did they save? Upon all that, too, with that upon that, the the uh, what's called court, say me yes, it sees it in say because those things say uh, na na the na the country money, na the state money. May we get the details. Nigerian decide 2023, your higher bell or greatest threat to free fair election, DJ Adeoju reveals. As Nigerians filed out, file out to decide their next president, Yahaya Bello of Kogi State has been described as the greatest threat to a free fair election in Nigeria. Deji Adeonju, a social political activist, made the remark while accusing Bello of cutting three major roads to the opposition stronghold in the streets in the states. So what he do say the opposition, he make sure say road not in that place. So ballot buses, INEC personnel cannot get there. You know if you reach there, you know if you reach there, nothing you do now. You don't understand me so. Uh -huh. I take again. The Jade Oju, a social political activist, made a remark while accusing Yahaya Bello of cutting three major roads to the opposition strongholds in the state. On Thursday, the Kogi state government said the excavation of some roads in Kogi Centra was a deliberate security measure. The state government said the measure was to restrict criminals from using the road to wreak havoc. This was disclosed to the state commissioner for information and communication, F Kingsley Fawon. So they, they deliberately spoiled the road. They said they don't know if you wreck havoc. Excuse me. If you spoil the road, how will INEC be able to also assess those places? But a place where you don't answer now, we have people say, you know, some kind of community, now PDP or Labour Party or APC stronghold. But the one you do say, not do for APC stronghold. You know, you don't feel me at all. Now the matter be that. However, the judge you tweeted, Yahaya Bello is one of the greatest threats to free fair election in Nigeria. Is alleged to cut off three major roads in the state to perpetrate election fraud so that results from those places will not be verified. Dear Africans, dear Nigerians, be, be rest assured the rest of the world that the governor that governors in Nigeria, a particular one called Yahaya Bello, who have stolen Kogi State dry, himself and his wife and family members are facing severe criminal charges, has cut off three major roads linking to the opposition strongholds in the state ahead of the election. You see that yeah, yeah, Bell, we do face like that, so eh? you know, the state that they owe people salary, yet for the state, they see one money for Lagos. You know, say the money, nobody know how that money work out. The man called Gay Leg. They call Trek go. It don't go. We don't know where it go. Because Yala Bello is not be state money. So roads, they're deliberately, and the Commission for Information called the talk say, and they, they do one so that they, I mean, how, how, I don't want to say how stupid is that, but how high is I want to describe them? He said they deliberately cut off those roads. Why? Yaya Bello, why? Why? You go fix that road after the election. Because we need to know. You know, in Nigeria, there's no accountability. It's a shame. A serious shame. As we they talk so, I know they give you free bozo. Go verify him. Yaya Bello is a wanted man. Wanted man, we say no go fit touch. They say no fit touch. Why? Because Nigerian government fraudulent. Not be only Yaya Bello, but Nayala Bello will they face on today. Put immunity on themselves. You can't touch them. Even if they steal your head, you can't touch them. The law say they're not going to touch them. Excuse me. Are they above the law? 
when they have committed fraudulent activities. So I, I they look for the government when they go come in place, when they go remove all those things. So when you go say no, this is not this is not right. All men are born equal. They're not born any picky say wear dress, wear clothes. Mona show me the picky. I never maybe I'm not the updated. I go lie to none, I go tell you thank you. Information is key. We need to know. I need to know. So everybody they're born everybody naked. I think I think I be I be no matter whether not for inside a uh, Queen Elizabeth Hospital or King Charles Hospital, or they born you for along the street. Everybody was born the same way. They born you in a soul. So why would they? Why you get opportunity to serve a people? You not feel served with integrity and honor. You get there, you do other things. You get there, you begin to amass wealth. The dynamic way they change the naira. So yeah, yeah, Bello now one of those now because of the money. Don't guard that down. Say I not go suffer again. You for you be God. You see all these people now bohari they pursue. All these people so now bohari they pursue. Yeah, yeah, Bello now one of them. They know say they do. Buhari, Buhari, gee, now two case of two fighting. Nine Nigeria they suffer for so. Case of two fighting. Nine Nigeria they suffer for so. Buhari know them. They know themselves. They look at each other for we corner eye. But they call, the, my problem is say they call put they call draw Nigeria into their two fighting. That's my problem with the whole thing. That's my problem. That's the problem I have with Buhari who cannot come up very well to say, oh, no, 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 this person, blah, 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 blah. And let truth be done, descend and in order. By the way, we know they preach for Buhari. Buhari not be saying to self, but just trying to make clarification on some of the issues on ground. You know, where Chief C, Chief, Chief Self, he bar for another Chief. Now, where Buhari see this, say, my gosh, this country, and I can't also, I won't fight corruption. And this is called corruption headquarter. The guy weak. Somebody say weak. The guy weak. He weak. He weak. When he see level, say, my God, what is going on here? What is going on here? He weak. Yeah, he weak like Dodo. You see, all the power can finish. He weak like Dodo. So if you swear the road, our INEC official want to get there. If there is need for that INEC official to be able to run, how he want to run? So, yeah, yeah, but what do you say you do so? Make some people not vote because say you be governor. Because say so you be governor, they do things like that, and Nigerians we quiet too, we quiet. They look there, as as we talk, somebody praise her. Ah, you are oppressing Yaya Bello, and they oppress Yaya Bello. Who the oppressor? Who, who who be the who? Which of you are the oppressor Yaya Bello? See, eh, Nigeria, eh? God help us. Somebody say God help us. This country, now help we need. Leave us a comment. Bye for now.